right, what's up, everybody? This is Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. So, welcome to La Miramar out here in North Las Vegas. We're going to be touring this modern home by Par D. Okay. Now, let me just show you here. Look at the pavers here. Look how creative they were with the uh, the pavers. Look at that. Love the pavers. Now this kind of gives you that modern look, but here's the thing. Is it really a modern architectural design? Oh, you hear that? We're near Nellis Air Force Base. Okay. So this plan right here, this is a plan three, elevation C. This is 3,119 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bath, great room, bonus room den, two car tandem garage. Base price on this model is $437,000. So let's get right into it. You do get that ring doorbell right here. You do have a nice door as you enter. Look at this. Why are all the lights turned off? The breaker switch, I guarantee it because all the other models that I'm touring right now, all the breaker switch. Now you do have the option for the Smart lounge here in lieu of a den, fifth bedroom, into a bonus room. Now, let's take a look here. So we do have a bedroom downstairs. And take a look at this mustache. Because I have a new mustache. Alright, so there's really nothing special about this other than what I like is the windows right here. Okay, and I do love the, uh, what do you call, accent wall. Coming into the bathroom, let's take a look at the bath. Lights all, breaker switch all off. Definitely need to get rid of the uh, shower rod and put a sliding glass door for here for sure. It just seems like it's so much more better. So you do have like a little lounge here but i don't know i think this is kind of like a waste of space i mean like who comes here like when you own a home like this do you just come and sit here but oh i do love this pattern right here that's <clears throat> that's kind of cool i might have to mimic this pattern for my office what do you think guys let me know in the comments below i might have to steal that all right let's let's see what we got Nine foot ceilings. And it just seems so dark. Especially my camera. What is going on? Hmm. Look at that. Okay. Look at this large island with the petrophenia. Oh my gosh. I just got caught up. You got the Blanca sink or the Blanco. You got the Petrofina. You got the full overlay cabinets here. Okay. Now, in a couple of videos ago, we talked about as big as this island, how many pendant lightings do you use? Well, that depends on the light fixture that you're going to pick. Again, this has to be thoroughly thought out prior to your wiring okay see if this is one seam or two seams here okay so there's no seams so this is one piece which is great sometimes what these builders would do is give you two pieces and seam them up together so you need to double check on that all right let's see here nice okay got some pantry space If you guys are down to pop some bottles, let me know. Because I'm popping my collar. Alright, let's see what we got here. Let's, let's go to the outside. This is the last one, folks. I got to finish strong. No cover patio. The uh, slides here. Let me show you the slides. See this? Not really feeling it. Again, it's just depending on the price point, the brand. Now that's just personal preference, okay? I mean, 
Why I say it doesn't really matter. This is just all for entertainment purposes only. I'm a YouTuber now. Oh wow, look how thin those pop-outs are. Very thin. Let's see what we got on this side. You got the built-in barbecue. These barbecue things are not cheap to, to do. I priced one out, man. These things are like five grand or even higher. Which is kind of ridiculous, in my opinion. Oh, take a look at this. We got some calcium buildup. So that tells you that uh, there's probably a leak, and sometimes when there is a leak, you have the calcium build out. Once it builds up, it can actually clog this, which is fine. Now this right here, right, is a, um, uh, what do you call, anti-siphon valve, I believe it's called. And the reason why you have this, and you should have this, is because when you have a water hose attached to this, you're washing your car, let's just say. You have the hose inside the uh, soap bucket. If you don't have this, you turn this off. What happens is some of that water can get sucked right back into your home, and that can actually be drinking water. Now, this is actually good up to 125 PSI and 180 degrees on the Fahrenheit. Uh, after that, you'll end up uh, ruining the uh, valve inside here. Okay. You do have your clean out right here. Ooh, it is hot. I got to get back inside. Now, tile, 12 by 24 inch tile. Look how it's ran all the way straight in the flow of the house. Look how much bigger it just looks. It looks so long versus running it this way. We had a problem once in our last couple videos building a, I think it's like a $3.5 million home. They're running the tile the wrong way. You know, a tile, my client spent uh, $250,000 on the uh, marble flooring. So luckily we caught it on time. All right, let's take a look at this. Man, this wallpaper will give you a headache while you're making a doo-doo. Okay, three car garage tandem, locked. Let's go this way here. We got storage underneath the staircase. Now let's go upstairs. Wow, I don't know if I like these stairs. This is what, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. It's almost like 12 stairs or even more. It's just straight up. Man, what happens if you get like a sip, slip and a fall, like a slip and a fall in the stove? You guys know what movie I'm talking about? <sighs> so you have a nice loft area, which is pretty decent. Yeah, do that. You got nine foot ceilings. All this right here, open. That's an upgrade for the railing. We're gonna go, let's go left, the master. I believe this is the master, yeah. Well, this master is pretty large. I'm gonna say, probably good 20 feet going this way, right? And probably, 15 feet going this way. Now this one doesn't have any can lighting in here, which is very horrible for a room this size. You need at least four can lighting. I mean, you can already see how dark it is. But I love how this bathroom wall cuts off like this and separates it. Then you come right into the bathroom. This right here is an upgrade. If this was in here, you would have your tub, then your fiberglass shower. But then you have all that dead space. So we have closet here. And this is your water closet. However, a door is going to be here. Okay? So you have to picture it that way. Let's see here. 36 on the cabinets, full overlay, uh, undermounted sink, cast iron with a white glaze. You do have your Petrofenia and your uh, silver or brush nickel, actually. I'm sorry, brush nickel, Delta fixture, full frame mirror. That is not included. Same thing on this side here. And you're coming into your walk-in closet. These shelves are not going to be here. You're just going to have standard white plank shelves. And you do have your attic 
access right up here. Two panel door. Now you do have your um, plantation shutters. Now, I know a guy that knows a guy that could actually get this thing done for a really good cost. Let me know if uh, that's something you're looking for. You know, I'm going to give you the hookups. We're going to hook you up. Now let's go down this way. What do we have here? All right, so we have a bedroom down this way. AC just kicked on. You can really feel that pressure and that suction. This is a queen size bed. Nine foot ceilings again. Six, eight on the door. You see how like the doors make the room look small? If you did upgrades here, right, to the uh, eight foot, makes the room appear a lot bigger. And also if you do the uh, eight foot door, it says all the doors get upgraded. Make sure, because sometimes you just do the first floor, but the bottom, uh, the top floor is not upgraded. Because that's an upgrade. All right. We got to finish strong, baby. You got two by fours. And I believe at this builder, they do use the uh, radiant barrier inside the attic. You do have the option to upgrade R15 on the exterior walls and R30 inside the attic or R38 inside the attic. I believe standard is R13. I mean, I don't want to say I believe, I know. You got your Aquatech. That's this brand right here, Tub Shower Combo Fiberglass One Piece. One of my favorites for stock and standard, if you have that choice. Okay. Wow, this video is going to be a little, little quick. I love these windows right here. You got the Amon. Now, there's a way to take off these windows. Uh, I've done it a couple times, but this one is. Uh, screw down so that way people don't just jump out the window for liability purposes and commit suicide, which is I totally understand. That's why a lot of these um, casinos now, if you notice, you can't open the windows all the way. Well, maybe that's every hotel, right? All right. Let's take a look at this wall right here. If you want to know the walls are straight, this is what you need to do. Take a look at this baseboard right here. If it's straight all the way down. Okay. It's just funny how like people like don't hire an agent and get a new home and they're slammed into a deal. And um, they end up watching this video and they're like, oh my God, I didn't realize all this. And uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because I actually had a, um, an agent contacted me and said, hey man, I wish I would have bought a home with you as our agent. The good news is that they're selling their home and uh, they're going to be buying a new home and they want my expertise. So I just want to say thank you uh, so much for that. That means a lot to me. That means what I'm doing is, you know, I'm doing the right thing by servicing you or servicing the community by just telling you and explaining to you how things are. And I, and I think that's the right thing to do. And I think in today's society, it's all about content and it's all about information. It's all about education. It's not about just trying to chase that dollar and get somebody into the deal. You have to have a conscience, right? You got to do the right thing. The money comes after, okay? Man, I do love this window right here. It really brings in a lot of light. I really do love that. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about this property. If you can see yourself living here, do you think it's actually worth the asking price? We're about to hit 180 yeah, I think 180,000 subscribers. No, 178,000 subscribers. Click in the link in the description below if you are interested and would like to see more properties like this, especially all of the models, okay? Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.